TikTok is a platform that can be compared to Minecraft, not in the gaming aspect, but for the sole reason that both of these platforms cater to a fan base of mostly minors. And because of this, predators will hide themselves in plain sight, acting as morally great people, but get exposed once they use their platform and following to prey on the unsuspecting victims within their community. Now you may think that this doesn't happen that often, but it actually happens more often than you'd expect. Because TikTok has a strong algorithm, it's able to get the newest of users onto anyone's For You page. That said user gets a following, and then they instantly throw everything out the window once they get the slightest interest from a fan, which is usually always a minor. Now, not every user on TikTok has this intent. The same goes for Minecraft. There are many creators on both platforms who don't message minors, but sadly in today's video, that can't be said about one of the oldest predators on TikTok. Now I'm not talking about oldest like he's 80 years old walking around with a cane. I mean that this creator was one of the first big creators to be exposed on the app. So old that at the time, the first person to ever expose this creator was canceled before he was. Gemini Official was a content creator on TikTok back in 2020 when the platform was still fairly new. He grew his audience by creating and popularizing a trend. Now, this trend is much harder to describe, so instead of trying to put it into words on how weird this trend is, I'll just show you. This trend, even though it was weird, random, and stupid, gave Gemini a platform of over 3.6 million followers. Again though, 2020 was a simpler time where almost anyone can take off with something so simple, and this is what happened with Gemini. Now, trigger warning moving forward, we are going to be speaking about another creep who went too far with a 15 year old girl, so if that's something you don't want to see, then feel free to stop watching around the time where I speak about a person by the name of Lily. Also, because of the nature of this video, I did need to get a sponsor, so here's a quick word from the sponsor of today's video. Now, you're not going to believe me when I say this, but I actually play and enjoy Raid Shadow Legends. And because of this, we came together to offer you a lucrative reward. Wait until the end of this segment to see what it is. Now, people believe that Raid Shadow Legends is a game with no depth or strategy, or a game where you have to fork over a ton of money in order to win. But this couldn't be further from the truth. In the game, you can go to the tavern and level up your champions, and then take them into battle, where you have to decide which champion you should bring into this battle. There's also a lot of depth, but this doesn't doesn't mean that you need to spend hours a day just to progress. You can make the game automated while you're off living your best life. And sure, spending money on the game can make you better, like anything else, but it doesn't make you disadvantaged if you don't spend any money. Raid is also offering Spring Hunt, where new players can win a gaming console plus 10k total value of Amazon gift cards. Players will need to find hidden items in Mistwood, but the first step is to download Raid using my link and then go to springhunt.polarum.com to participate in the event. If all this is not enough, Raid gives my community two free epic champions when using my link or QR code. These champions are Tyrol, and once you reach level 25, you'll receive Rector Draw, plus a lot of other cool stuff. And the cherry on top, use the promo code SPRINGHUNT24 to get 10 XP brew, 100 energy, and 100,000 silver. Once you're in and crushing your enemies, come find me in the game under Bills on YT. Now, because Gemini got called out by almost every TikToker and YouTuber who covers weirdos on the internet, he ended up deleting all of his social media platforms. So this video was actually pretty difficult to piece together. But Gemini's TikTok account took off around 2019 and 2020, gaining a fan base of over 3 million followers. But that was his peak in followers and with having a decent reputation, because shortly after obtaining his massive following on TikTok, Gemini started to abuse his power and allegedly started to comment under TikTok videos of minors. These comments were flirty, but he'd go on to say that they were just harmless compliments. This defense only lasted a short while until a TikTok user would try to expose Gemini for his bad behavior towards minors, as she was 16 at the time when they first interacted. Ruby was the first user that would come out against Gemini inappropriate interactions with her. The first video she posted was showing different pictures that she took over the course of a couple of days. Some of these pictures were from Snapchat where Gemini showed his abs and also asked her many times to FaceTime. He'd also ask her about her boyfriend and why they broke up. During these screenshots, there was also messages allegedly between him and a 13-year-old fan.
After this, Gemini was quick to respond in his own series of videos. During his videos, he speaks about how he knew something was up with Ruby, trying to expose him, which is why he asked to FaceTime her in the first place, and how he didn't know her age at all. He'd continue by saying that Ruby was the one to initiate the conversation, and he'd try to spin this exposed video into Ruby trying to trap him into looking like a predator. The response video is pretty long, but I'll leave in the most important parts of this response video. That she was trying to do something, and then here are the pictures of my abs, and it was literally over a year ago, so that's just my backup on that. Again, I, I don't wish anything bad on anybody. I don't wish anything bad on her. Don't go to her page. Don't say cancel, whatever. Like, literally just, I just want to live my life. Let her live her life and everybody just be cool. I don't wish anything bad on anybody. Remember, this is the girl who literally was shaming her victims. So like, I, like, I don't wish anything bad on anybody, but I mean, come on. And for this to just randomly come out of nowhere, like, it literally makes no sense. I'm sorry, Ruby, that you hate me or whatever. Whatever you have, that whatever I did, I don't even know, honestly. But I love my fans. And I love to make people laugh. And all you verified people or people, big creators who just are supporting her in this, who I thought were my friends, wow. Literally wow. There's no more explanation needed, honestly. I'm not gonna keep encouraging the conversation. So, I'm done. These videos will be deleted in a couple days or so, but I want my page to be full of happiness and love. And again, like I said, don't wish anything bad on her, just explaining more so that you guys all know what's going on. So yes, I did message her and ask her what was going on with her and Theo, but she was the one who sent me the snaps first. Is That's what I mean when I said like she started the whole conversation thing, because that's where really everything really started, because she explained why she broke up with Theo and that, um, you know, it was because of distance or whatever, and I understand that. And yes, after I found out that she was 16, I backed off, but then I wanted to freaking figure out what she was doing, so I did call her cute one time, and then I asked for her number so that I could question her, and when I did question her, she couldn't answer my, any of my questions. And I'm asking her question, and I ask her, like, you're literally saying, you're, you're up to something, I just know it. And she laughed and hung up the phone, and that's why the conversation was so short. Of course, with a video like this, by a bigger creator pretty much insinuating that Ruby posted these videos for clout and attention, his fans would bombard her comment sections with hate while defending Gemini. And no one believed Ruby and just believed that she was a clout chaser trying to capitalize off of his internet fame, while falsely accusing him of being a weirdo. So Ruby made a response video. In it, she showed proof about the interactions and gave more context to the pictures she showed in her first video. She also posted the FaceTime footage with Gemini. In that footage, Gemini is clearly flirting with her and asking her if he can get to know her. This footage also shows that Gemini wasn't asking her a bunch of questions because he was on to her scheme of trying to expose him. Like what he said in his first response video. She then proves that he knew she was 16 years old before sending the pictures and that he was lying throughout his response video trying to save face and how it was his words against her evidence but no one wanted to believe her. With everything that's going on I just want to tell you guys first of all why the fuck would I just make that up to ruin somebody's life for clout I just think that's fucked up. Two there's no evidence at all in his videos whereas in my video I have screenshots Three, he makes me seem like the bad guy, which I'm not. This takes a lot of courage to go on a social media platform and try and take down a bigger creator that is literally flirting with minors. He literally admitted it in his video. He was flirting with a 16-year-old girl, and he's 20. Last night, he would not stop harassing me to FaceTime him, and I obviously did not want to. Last night, you can see that he really wanted to FaceTime me, and I didn't want to. FaceTime me. Come on with the FaceTime. FaceTime. Also, you guys notice how in the videos, he literally just, he, he's making me seem like the bad guy. He doesn't show any proof. And he keeps continuing. He's like, guys, I love you guys. You're sick, Ruby. Like, what, like, what are you doing with your life? Like, making me seem like the bad guy. But he's literally flirting with the minor. Some of you guys just need to look at the facts. And like, I don't, I would never like make this up. Also, in his video, he says that, I initiated the conversation, however, we were talking about him in the group chat and then I screenshotted this. I screenshotted this, that he wanted to stay with me in an Airbnb. This was a while ago when I only had like 100k, like maybe a little less, so I was like, this is sick. Like a guy with a million followers is like, he wants me to stay with him, so obviously I thought it was cool. Then he said, why did you screenshot? And I said, because I wanted to show my friend that I had you on Snapchat because I thought it was cool because I'm not just going to fucking tell him. And then he texted me and he said, we should collab soon. And I said, what would you want to do? And he sent me meet up. Ew. I don't know. I feel like, I feel like figure out my situation first because I just got out of a relationship. Yeah, what's going on? What happened? Just like, broke up, put some distance.
Can we FaceTime tomorrow? I'm like really tired. It's like 2.20. No, I will, I promise. Alright, night. You guys totally don't believe me. I really need you guys to believe me on this. I literally have all the evidence, and he has no evidence besides his words to back him up. I'd also like to add that in Gemini's first response, he pointed fingers at Ruby for allegedly shaming R-word victims just to try and make himself look way better than she was, but goes on to tell his audience that he doesn't want anyone to send hate her way. Right, surely if he didn't want anyone to send hate her way, he wouldn't have said that she shamed R-word victims to make her look bad and make him look better. He would have just proved that the screenshots were fake or that he was set up. Instead, he weaponized his fan base to attack someone because she was trying to expose him. After this exchange between the two, Ruby came out with less followers and was ultimately the one who was being dragged and canceled all over TikTok. While Gemini, on the other hand, was treated like the victim with only a few followers actually believing Ruby and her story. Up until another user by the name of Lily posted a video onto her TikTok account exposing the fact that Gemini ordered her an Uber to be dropped off at his hotel so they can allegedly hook up with each other. Lily says that Gemini knew that she was 15 and how he was persistent with trying to see her, asking Lily multiple times to meet up with him before she was pressured into agreeing to see him. Months ago, there was a creators event going on in Los Angeles that Gemini was attending. And I had Gemini on staff and he asked me to come over. The first night he asked me to come over, it was a Thursday, and I said no because I had school the next day. And then the next day he asked me again to come over, and I told him I couldn't go over there, I couldn't drive because I was 15, and I told him that. And a few hours later, around midnight, he asked me to come over again and offered to get me an Uber. I was already in a pretty bad mental space at the time, and I had just had something happen that day that put me into an even bigger hole. So in a moment of weakness, I agreed and I got in the Uber and I went over there. Now I'm not gonna go into details as of what happened in the hotel, but you can probably imagine. Gemini responded quickly to these allegations as well, but his response was actually really weird. He started off by saying he won't explain the situation because everyone probably saw it already from Twitch streams. But then he does admit that he brought her to the hotel just to hook up with her. But of course, he had to say he didn't know her age when they hooked up. But once again, he'd say that once he figured out that she was 15, then he would reach back out to her in order to FaceTime hookup. Basically, I got with this girl and she's 15 years old. Now, I do want to say that I really didn't know that she was 15 when I got with her. But I paid for her Uber. She came and hang out with me. We got with each other and that was a situation. After the fact, I found out that she was 15 and I still kept talking to her. So much so that I asked if which is completely disgusting. Of course I know this is a serious situation, and I know that a lot of people go through serious situations like this. People were asking me, well, why did you keep her in your phone? Why did you keep talking to her? And it was because I didn't want to block her or run away. I know that what I did was wrong, and I made sure that she was okay because I didn't know. And I kept her in my phone because if she wanted to go legal or take action or talk about the situation, she, she has my information to do so. So why did you ask her to fuck after you knew how old she was I, I don't know i can't answer that super super disgusting of me and i've never really done that to anybody of course i flirt and of course i can be excessive but i never forced this girl to do anything or i never manipulated her or built a relationship with her at all i do care about her health and i do care about people's oh, wilder kids no do i intentionally attack or abuse or go after TikTok children. No. I am sorry to Lily and her family and to any of other creators or um, people have, who have been affected by this whole situation. I never meant for any of this to happen. But I made it worse by not going about it in the correct way. And I ended up victimizing and manipulating my audience, and that's not what I intended to happen. I was upset because I had put my family in danger over my mistake. And I did try to kill myself because this isn't who I am, but everybody thinks that I'm this bad person, and that's just not who I am. I don't wish harm on people, nor do I wish anything bad on them.
I just want everybody to be happy, but I'm sorry to the people that I've hurt. If anybody knows me, then they know that I'm a caring and loving person. Like I said, I never hurt her or made her do anything. Yes, I paid for her Uber, but that was because she said that she didn't have a vehicle or any way to come and hang out. And so I was like, oh, well, I'll help you. Since this whole situation, I have sought out help. I know that I had said intense therapy every single day for months, and I came back within a week. I am going to therapy, and I do have it on weekends, but the intense therapy thing was a lie, and I'm sorry about that. So, uh, let me get this straight. Instead of being disgusted by just hooking up with a minor who you just figured out was a minor and was only 15 years old, instead of doing that and being disgusted, you double down on your actions and try to hook up with her once again. And then he also admits to it so nonchalantly as if it was no big deal to him. Now, side note, there was an actual apology for both victims that was posted onto Gemini's YouTube channel. But since Gemini deleted his channel, it's been wiped from the internet, with only Papa Gut having the reaction towards it. During this actual first apology, Gemini admits that he was wrong for leaking Ruby's number, but once again states that Ruby was racist and how he wished he never associated with her in the first place. He also speaks about the Lily situation, saying that it was wrong as well, but once again goes on to defend himself and states that Lily was supposed to remove the video after he made an apology video. I'm only bringing this video up because during it, Gemini was stating that he was going to be seeking extreme therapy sessions, but then in the first video that I just showed, Gemini states that he lied about going to therapy and how he wanted to end his life because of all the hate. This just shows how manipulative Gemini can seriously be towards his fan base. Not only did he lie once, but he lied again and again and then tries to make everyone feel bad by bringing up how he wanted to end it all because of the allegations that were stacking up against him. This wasn't the worst part though, because he'd post yet another apology, which is a lot of the same stuff. Gemini claiming that he was sorry while also making himself look like the victim. Remember, around this time, Gemini was 20 or 21 years old, taking advantage of girls who are almost five to six years younger than him. And before anyone states, well, they also wanted to do stuff as well, it takes two to tango, or anything else like the comments on the T Nichols video, these girls were 16 and 15. When I was that age, I was extremely immature. And the same goes with these girls. Even though they also interacted with him, he is the adult in the situation and should have had the understanding that what he was doing was wrong. And even after he discovered Lily's age, he went back to try and meet up with her again. This wasn't a mistake to him. He knew what he was doing and manipulated his audience into believing that he made a huge mistake. But again, it can't be a mistake if you constantly do the same thing over and over again. Now allegedly, after these allegations came out against Gemini, parents of one of the girls, I believe it was Lily, but I'm not too sure, took the information to the police. Gemini was then ordered to go to therapy to clear his name. He posted a video a year later in 2021 claiming that he was a changed man and how he went to therapy and also had his charges dropped. This was another weird video posted by Gemini to his YouTube channel because in it, he has his alleged therapist speaking during one segment of the video. But the therapist says some weird off-putting comments as well and never really addresses the issue word for word, only saying that Gemini is great and how he's grown since going to therapy. But this is the same with Gemini. He never addresses the allegations or even tries to mention them. And throughout this video as well, he flaunts how he owns his own house and how his family is doing great. It was weird because Gemini was trying his hardest to get back onto the TikTok platform, even changing his name at one point to distance himself from his past. I only have the pop of gut reaction to this video but it was pretty insane to see Gemini continue to try and get himself back online. This was around the same time where Gemini assumed it was a good time to come back to the TikTok platform, but immediately got booed off of TikTok as well. Gemini was one of the biggest creeps on TikTok. The worst part about everything was that Gemini himself never saw an issue with his interactions with females in general. Standing by his statements that his comments were never meant to be flirty, but how every girl needs to be complimented because it makes them feel good inside. And I'm sure that's true, but when you're commenting these compliments under videos of these minors, does it ever cross your mind that maybe just maybe, you shouldn't be complimenting girls who are five to six years younger than you. Gemini will always try to be the victim in every situation, and he'll always try to lie and manipulate anyone into believing him. It worked for a little bit with his audience, but as more and more allegations and evidence came out against him, even his fans had to draw the line with his behavior. I just can't believe how much he tried to claw his way out of the hole he dug himself into. It's actually pretty pathetic, but I'm sure there will still be people out there who will defend Gemini, even though he admitted to his actions because in their eyes, if a 15 year old girl also tried to hook up with Gemini, who was and is a grown man, then that's their fault as well. 
I don't personally understand that logic, mostly because as a teenager, I was told what to do, how to do it, and when to do it. Not because my mom was strict, but because if she wasn't telling me what to do, then I'd be too immature to do it, which is the point that I'm trying to make here. These girls were obviously not developed enough to make the smartest decisions for themselves. But you know who was? Gemini. Anyways, that's all I really wanted to say about Gemini. I saw some videos that didn't really show the extra apologies that Gemini posted throughout the years, so I wanted to put them in this video just to put more timelines of the events for anyone who wants to make a future video on Gemini. But subscribe to the channel to get us closer to 200,000 subscribers before the end of the summer. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.